Uh, let's see some properties on the addition, matrix addition. These are all intu intuitive uh, properties. I mean, you can easily get them by intuition. So I'm not going to give you any proofs here. They are just straightforward. I'll just read them out. You can make a note of them. They are not uh, very important that I should prove them. Okay. So without proving, I'll just I just giving you the properties. So equality. Two matrices are said to be equal. So whenever if you want to say that two matrices are uh, equal, you know the rules are like this. They have to be of same size, which means if one matrix is of uh, three by three, then the other matrix also has to be of three by three. Uh, first point is the size has to be same. Uh, they have to be of same size right and the second point is the elements in the corresponding places are same which means uh, you know one one in first row first column the element there and the first row first column element here both of them have to be same i think you know what the corresponding elements mean right so if we have this if i want to show that these two matrices are equal the corresponding element one one here should be equal to one one here these are called the corresponding elements right so Two, two matrices are said to be equal when they are of same size and the elements are of the corresponding places are same. That is just intuitive, right? And the next one is addition of matrices. So how do we do addition of matrices is before going for addition and addition or multiplication, we should see whether the given matrices are compatible or not. Okay. So uh, we have to perform addition. We can perform addition only when the matrices are conformable conformable means they should be of same size uh, addition conformability means they should be of same size and similarly we have a different rule for multiplication also there we shall discuss it so here the uh, addition conformable means they are they both of them should be of same size we can add two matrices only if they are of uh, same size or we can add any number of matrices only if the sizes of all these matrices are same right and the properties of addition are like this one is commutative so obviously it is commutative addition matrix addition is commutative see why is this this property is important is the properties are different from matrix multiplication see, even though matrix addition is commutative matrix multiplication is not commutative okay so that is why i am doing everything here okay so uh, commutative means a plus b equal to b plus a either you add you know right like this or right like this the final answer is going to be same and the second one is associative uh, associative means uh, you already know that right uh, in compiler design also we discussed it associativity means if i have let's say like this if an operand is having two operators on either side of it what is the operator that you want to associate this particular operand with that is called associativity right so if i uh, if i associate it with the left then it is called left associativity if I associate with the right operator, it is called right associativity. So associative property means if an operator can be used both as left associative as well as right associative and if you get the same result, you know that is called as associativity. Okay. So this is, uh, okay. So we can say that uh, addition of matrices is associative. And next one is existence of additive identity. Additive identity means if there is a matrix and if you try to add another matrix to it and if the result is going to be the same matrix this particular element is called as identity okay so additive identity means this every operator will have for every operator we can discuss about the identity so what is identity is if there is an operator and if i give one input to it what should be the other input so that the result is going to be the same first input here if there is a matrix A and if I'm going to add it, add to it something, what do you, what should you add here so that the result is going to be same matrix A and uh, you know existence of such a element is called as identity element for this operator, right? So existence of additive identity, which means in case of matrix addition, we have an element called as identity element and the identity element is O. O here means the zero matrix. For example, if A is a 3 by 3 matrix, if I take a null matrix of size 3 by 3, that particular matrix is going to act as additive identity for this addition. 
got it therefore edit addition matrix addition is going to have identity see this property is very important because later when we discuss in this set theory about groups abelian groups and all we have to discuss about identities okay so that is why even though these are trivial just pay some attention here and maybe uh, note them down these are very easy as you look at them here but then when these are combined with some other operators some other uh, loss like groups and abelian groups then it might be confusing so that is why let's keep the basics uh, you know uh, as it is right don't skip this part and next one is existence of additive inverse additive inverse means if i have an operator and if i have if i provide it with an operand what should be the other operand so that the result is going to be additive identity which means if i have to get zero as the output and one of the input to the addition operator is a what should be the other operand so that the output is going to be zero right so obviously if a is going to be one of the operand then what is the other operand so that the output is going to be zero minus a which means if you take any matrix and if you if you uh, if you apply negation to that if a is the matrix then you can call minus a as the additive inverse got it and the next one is subtraction of two matrices subtraction is nothing but a combination of negation and addition if you want to do a minus b you scale or multiply b with minus 1 and then add it to a scalar multiplication we shall discuss about it shortly even scalar multiplication has got some properties uh, but then minus b means just think that every element of b is being multiplied with minus 1 then that is called as minus b right then subtraction of matrix means a minus b is going to be a plus of minus b so subtraction is a kind of addition therefore you can take all these properties and again you can apply them there right but then uh, you know you cannot directly apply them it you have to you need to be careful uh, okay we shall discuss about a subtraction later for example you cannot say that subtraction is commutative right you cannot say that subtraction is associative there have to be modifications okay but anyway subtraction is not very important we will not uh, stress on that so you can you can if you can apply some modifications to the subtraction equation if you can try to apply some modification you can somehow apply the rules and see if they are valid or not okay and next one is cancellation so cancellation you know you know it already generally we do cancellation in uh, you know multiplications general in uh, scalar multiplications right but here when you when you look at cancellations you can apply them to addition of matrices also for example if i have an equation a plus b equal to a plus c then you can cancel out a a and you can say b equal to c how did i do it you can add minus a here and minus a here obviously these two will get cancelled or these two will get reduced to zero zero matrix and then zero plus b is nothing but b and zero plus c is nothing but c because that is additive identity right and similarly here also you can cancel out these two how you can add minus a here minus a here and you can cancel it out then you are going to get b equal to c got it so this is how you can apply uh, you can these are all the properties of additions these are not important as it is no one is going to ask you these properties directly but then they are going to be combined in other questions in set theory okay again in set theory i'll again uh, i'll not explain this but then i'll use these properties there okay fine